guys welcome back for another vlog but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god i don't want to live in regret anymore the things i went through and experienced whether i was at fault or not taught me a lot i thank you for all the things i went through in my life at the time i didn't realize how much stronger i as a person it was making me the lessons i gained from these experiences molded me into a better person today show me how to find ways to live my life without regrets I let go of all regret and decide to move on with a positive outlook. Please grant me wisdom so that instead of regretting my past, I move smarter in my present. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So I pray that that prayer blesses you guys today. Today is Sunday and we're all getting ready to go to church. Today's my, ser my turn to serve in the nursery. So we're doing that. But yesterday we found ourselves a new fridge we went to three different places and we got our fridge from the last one which was Lowe's they're going to deliver it today um, we already took everything out of the old fridge and John took the doors off they're taking it with them but they gave us such a wide window of delivery that we can't miss church because we don't know when they're bringing uh, the fridge so we're gonna go and hopefully they call us before they come which normally they do and then John, luckily we don't, church is not so far away from us. John can come here and if he has to and or they come while we gone. So um, I'm excited though. I'm so, so excited. I didn't go grocery shopping or anything because I knew we was going to get the new fridge. So uh, once we get it, I have to do, I, I got to do some grocery for the week. But I'm excited about that, you guys. But yeah, today we got a small group and stuff like that. So whatever I got going on, I will take you guys along with me. Hey guys, so it's much, much later. Um, look what just came. I just ordered it this morning. John bought it for me. I went ahead and ordered it. And I thought uh, Walmart was going to send it in the mail. But no, they just dropped it off from the store. I'm fascinated by that. Finally got the Dutch oven that I, from Drew Barrymore. I've been wanting this for so long. Oh, I love it. It's the color scheme that I like. Hold on, let me use something else. Leslie just woke up from her nap. We came home and she we've been relaxing. Ain't nothing better than a Sunday nap. We I hardly been doing nothing and it feels good. Because normally on Sundays, I'm like, let's prep. Let's do this. Let's do that. But because we don't have a fridge still, then turns out the window is between four and eight so they're not here we have a small group later so luckily our small group house is not far from here it's within our neighborhood so if they call to drop off the fridge we can um come back just looking. make sure we know that so it's look oh this thing is heavy. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so weak. John, I need your help. <laughs> this thing is not playing. Hold on, let me see. I think it's because the top is in here. I don't know. I'm struggling. Oh, it's like now. Oh. I'm so weak. I need it. <laughs> oh. She's so pretty. Oh, oh, look how this feels. John, don't touch it. Mom, I got you. Not this one. Oh. Not this one. It's different. Y'all, it feels like fuzzy. Don't it feel like fuzzy? Huh? It feels like a, a wood stove. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't feel like. Yeah. Grease. Ooh, you got chicken crumbs all over your mouth. That's right, y'all. I did. Oh, oh look how beautiful she is. Isn't she lovely? Look, it's like my color scheme. And she, this thing is heavy. This is heavier, John. This is heavier than the one, the Martha Stewart one I have. 
That one a little bigger though. What's the, how big is the other one? Yeah, that's like a six. Yeah, it's a six. And I have um pot rolls to cook for dinner too. Not this week on the menu. And uh, the other one's not big enough, but this one is. Just making sure there's nothing else in here. No, everything else is just filler. So we get to put this in the recycling. Um, the box smells kind of weird though. I'm gonna wash it, but I was so excited. I wasn't expecting it today. I Man, I didn't pay attention or something. More boxes. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty, you guys. I love it. This is TikToker I watch. She is from Texas, but she's Egyptian. And when I tell you the recipes that she make are top tier. Anyways, she always cooks with this, which made me want it even more. I'm like, oh, I want it, I want it. And then John's like, you should order it. Oh, when you become a grown up, the things that make you happy change. I'm telling you, appliances, vacuums. I like tools. Well, yeah, tools for you. I bought me some jack stands today. Oh, you did? I sure did. What's, it, what's that for, to pop up the car? To hold the car up. Oh, well, I was close. Um. The things that make you happy just change. Vacuums, cleaning supplies, that's the stuff that makes me happy anyway. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Paid bills. That makes me happy. Ain't nothing like a paid bills in a full refrigerator. Okay, that's a blessing in itself. Yesterday we went to Marshall's and I was looking at different organizers and stuff like that in there for the fridge, but I didn't want to get anything until I get the fridge first so I could properly organize it. Because of this fridge, they're side by side. It was very narrow and a lot of stuff would get lost in the back. But anyways, I also wanted a stainless steel cleaner and I've always heard this one was very good. So, um, got this, I'll put it to the test. Fights fingerprints better than all purpose cleaners. So I got that and um, yeah, I already made the menu for the week. I, the only thing I had to do is order all of my groceries. I made a grocery li uh, list, John, for the Instacart Costco. Mm -hmm. But if you want, I want to have you look at it just in case you want to add more stuff in it. But um, I don't want to order it till I get the fridge first. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm excited. They just, you know how you're waiting for something, they just take this sweet little time. She dropped it off. Hey guys, it's now the next day. It is, it's later on in the evening. It's 6 p.m., almost 6 p.m. as a matter of fact. I just dropped a new vlog um, and we still have not gotten our fridge. They called the wrong number yesterday and the people that we gave the number to, they wrote it wrong. So they called the wrong number yesterday and then John, well, we did not recall them until we have not received it. Then they told us they didn't have any openings today. Well, by the time John was finished finished talking to them, they gave us another window of between four to eight. So it's 6 p.m. right now. I'm hoping we get it tonight. Luckily, something told me not to order the groceries until I actually got the fridge because we need some food. <laughs> um, so as you can see, this space right here is quite empty. I just cleaned it up and everything. So last time John checked, we were they were seven stops away. I guess seven place, other places they had to go before they made it here. So it didn't show that last time, which was yesterday. So I'm hoping that it actually gets done today. I don't care as long as I get the fridge. Um, but yeah, you guys, so today I spent the day just tackling stuff around the house. I was going to film it, but sometimes I move faster without filming it. So I cleaned upstairs. I've been doing laundry. I wash our sheets, Destiny sheets and stuff, and just tidying up because the kitchen was a mess. We were barely home this weekend. And Destiny's on the phone with her friends. She's the complete opposite of me. She is very sociable and an extrovert. I'm the opposite. You don't hardly see me on the phone with friends all the time. <laughs> but anyways... Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, I was cleaning up because the kitchen, everything, like the house looked like we were not hardly home. You would think because we were hardly home, it would be a lot cleaner, but no, we were in and out of the house 
and everything was just everywhere. And then because of the fridge situation, um, the kitchens was a hot mess. We were moving stuff around, but I was able to deep clean this area because it was full of cobwebs and stuff. So yeah, so I'm hoping if I get it tonight, then I could go ahead and do some groceries for tomorrow because I need some my fridge. I'm actually very excited. I don't like buying appliances. I don't think nobody really does, you know? But when it comes down to it, you know, it's exciting because it's not something you do every single day. It's years, you know? So it's exciting. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, comment back on the comments that I've been getting on YouTube and i'll give you guys an update once it's here y'all she is finally here oh my god i'm so excited open it up so you guys can see everything still has the plastic on i'm getting ready to take that off soon um they told us they need to we need to run two gallons of water like just let it like dump it out and then it should be good after that oh i'm so excited this is where the fruits go this is a fruit drawer because they have when we was at Lowe's they had the sticker on there. And this is the vegetables. Well, you we could use it for either one, it doesn't matter. Does it go all the way up? Oh, that's okay. Just making sure. And this is the one where the deli meat goes in. Like I just I've never had something like this before, you guys. So I'm so excited. I have more space. And this is the freezer. They also told us the first batch of ice we need to dump it out. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Now I gotta take this stuff off, like the plastic and stuff, and then start putting stuff in here. Oh, oh this is plastic. Mm -hmm. And all this got plastic on it. Now oh. we have more space in the fridge. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. So now we don't have to break out to all the meat. Huh? Oh, I won't get this one. Oh, I can't take this these off. Sections, these sections are bigger. Huh? These, these things are a little bit bigger than these. Yeah, because you can put a gallon of milk in them. Yeah, because the, the other one's like this small. Like this yeah, this, small. this one's still like these.
in love. Oh my God. So this is what we have left from the last fridge that we pretty much just brought back inside, like the little condiments and stuff. Um, like the sandwich meat. This is much. I'm doing grocery tomorrow. We just bought this from Sam's Club a few days ago. Um, yeah, that's what we have left in here. Time to close out the kitchen for now. I'm exhausted. Oh, y'all, I forgot to show y'all this. John bought these for me. Measuring cups. Aren't these are pretty? They're like the copper. I really like them. He got them from Amazon during the Prime deals. They were $60, and then they had, with the Prime deals, they were $28. He knows I love stuff like this, so he got this for me. I thought it was so sweet. He knows how to, the things that make my heart warm and fluttery. <laughs> I love stuff like this, y'all. I'm getting ready to share with you a grocery haul. Walmart and Aldi literally delivered it back to back like together. So uh, let's start with Aldi. It was a small order from Aldi. I got the kids their yogurts. Y'all know they love this. They go through this yogurt oh, very fast. Their favorite juice. This juice is really good. I need some liquid egg whites. So what I do is I, when I make my eggs in the morning, I use egg whites and then I because I don't like wasting the yolk so I just like to get the liquid egg white and then I add one regular egg in there some almond milk avocados I need oh these are ripe okay so this will be ready for tonight's dinner these are ripe it had to be used today um now it's Walmart so we I got some grapes green and red I got some strawberries I need a scallions little potatoes some red potatoes, lentils, this came from Aldi, so this goes over here. Romance tomatoes. I needed some peppers and stuff for dinner, and then I got some carrots. I kept the meat in the bag because the chicken and stuff is leaking. I'm gonna use this one today for a Mexican casserole. I'll share the recipe with you guys later. I needed some stew beef meat. I also got the kids some uh, cheese sticks for their lunch box, so I got that. That's from Aldi. I don't know why I put it over here. Got some sour cream. I like the squeezable one. That's my favorite. Parmesan cheese. I've been enjoying this. This is zero sugar. I only drink this like once a day. Around dinner time when I want my water to have a little flavor. The pineapple one is my favorite. It tastes really good, you guys. Um, I really like it. Uh, I also got some corn tortillas. Gallons of milk. Two gallons of milk. Some green chiles. Diced tomatoes, this is the fire roasted one, black beans, some peeled tomatoes. I don't know for what, it's a for a recipe, I just don't know for which one. I got some sandwich meat, taco seasoning, I think it's for tonight, the taco seasoning. I asked for the pumpkin cookie ones, but they didn't have it, and I pressed like do not exchange like to, for this one, they did it anyway. They do what they wanna do around here, it seems. Beef broth. Kobe Jack and some Parmesan. I like this grated Parmesan for when I make homemade Alfredo sauce. It's so easy, y'all, but the grated Parmesan like this is the best. I have one more grocery order. It's not, it has not come yet, and it's from Costco. It's small, but it's still a lot. Um, with everything with Aldi, Walmart, and Costco, it's $400 because we didn't really have much in our fridge. All right, y'all, so I went ahead, put the food away, and then I filmed a restock kind of like a restock and prepping of the vegetable, not the vegetables, the fruit and stuff for TikTok and Instagram, but Costco finally delivered their stuff. I got a bag of organic green beans. Got a bag of some broccoli. Got these chicken breast chunks from Costco. I've never tried this one, but it's supposed to be like that other one, just chicken or something. I don't know. It's, this is the Costco brand, and this is for the kids' lunchbox. Gets me out of a pinch in the morning. Got some thick-cut bacon. We definitely like, like once I tasted thick-cut bacon, I don't buy the thin ones anymore. Got the kids' applesauce, the pouches. So I'm gonna restock that, and then needed some more peanut butter. So I got that, bananas. I got some diced tomatoes and then I also got some sleep aid I take one of these every night so it is fully stocked it's like a week it doesn't look like it but it's like a week and a half worth of meals everything is already in here 
usually we could never fit like stuff like this and we have to go to the deep freezer but we could easily fit this stuff in here for now oh, i'm just so excited i love sharing it with you guys all right y'all so i'm getting ready to make some brownies uh with the cookies so basically you do a layer of cookies brownie mix and then cookies so basically if you're not a baker or you just don't feel like doing nothing but you want kind of like a sweet treat in the house something that's quick and not too complicated this will be it um so basically remember bottom layer um cookies brownie mix and then another layer of cookies on top and that's what i'm doing tonight because i don't even feel like baking i have my i go through my modes when i don't feel like baking I, right now it's one of those times so i'm gonna fix this right now before destiny come home so it can just sit out and start cooling off 50 to 55 minutes and i and you can bake it in the oven for 325 degrees basically the, the amount that the brownies would cook it should be in there in the oven for that which i gotta get more brownie mix i forgot let me do that but let me get this started i'll be missing you love yeah i'll be missing you love in the good times that we had, I'll be missing you, love. I'll be missing you and your love, your love, your love. When I think of you and the two of us together, it felt so good for so long. It was you and me forever. waiting for destiny to come she gets off the bus and i like to wait here for her until she gets out um y'all there's two things i want to discuss with you guys first one is a show one is a book so i'm gonna start with the show i want to talk about the golden bachelor remember before i told you guys i was gonna talk about it on here I don't know if you guys got a chance, if you haven't seen it or got a chance to watch it yet. Um, many of you already said that y'all started watching it and some of you said that y'all will watch it. So let's discuss. Okay, so I watched episode three of The Golden Bachelor. If you're looking for it, it's on ABC. I don't have cable, so I watch it through Hulu. And usually when it comes on ABC, it's available the next day on Hulu. Y'all. I am loving it. Now, I've never been interested in any of the Bachelor shows. I just don't care about it. Bachelor, Bachelorette. But for some reason, this one piqued my interest. The gentleman is 71 years old. And he's a good looking 71 year old. He's fit. You would never know he's 71 years old. The women are beautiful. They're older women too. They're like between their 50s 
and late, late 70s. There was one that was 80. She only she didn't even last it because she literally took a nap and everything was over and she woke up and it was done. We're on episode three now. So now you start to see the personalities of the women. Um, I, I wondered if because they're older, they act differently. A lot of them have been through life um, troubles. You know, they've been married before. They have children. They have grandchildren. Some have lost their husband. Some of them are still grieving in a way. Um, just like he is, the bachelor, he's still grieving his wife. Um, but he is open to something new and open to love. There's one woman specifically on there. And if you've watched, you know who I'm talking about. I think her name is Kathy. I'm not sure. I know I had it in my mind, but I think her name is Kathy. She kind of looks like Bruce Jenner. If you see her, you know it, you know who exactly I'm talking about. The woman is petty. She's picking fights with other women. She's picking arguments. And then she starts to cry in front of him. Like she's kind of like a victim. So she's kind of petty. She built like this little friend group to talk about other women. The other women that are doing well with him. And then she starts to pick fights and stuff. But y'all, it is so good. It is so good. This is like the only one I'm interested in. You, I'm, I don't care about The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. But this one for sure um definitely piqued my interest i thought from episode one the one that came in with the mo in the motorcycle i thought that would be one of his favorites but i think i could see it changing um so yeah let me know in the comments what do you guys think i'm ready for that woman to go the kathy lady i think that's her name i'm ready for her to go um there's a woman in there that looks like chris jenner too y'all should know who i'm talking about if you've seen the show she looks just like chris jenner but yeah, guys, I have been enjoying that show. Okay, so let's talk about the book. I am reading Fourth Wind. I have the Audible app. Um, and I wanted, to, I got the Libby app. I even renewed my um, library card so that I could get the Libby app because you need a library card. And you can listen to audiobooks for free or a read book just like if you were to have a Kindle. Y'all that didn't work out because they have only a certain amount of books on there and it's a long wait months 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 so I still kept my audible app which is an investment for myself because I just love to listen to books I used to read a lot but I used to sit there for hours even days and read and do nothing else I would just go into this book coma type of thing and I would not come out of it till I'm done now I have so much to do that I just I listen to the book while I'm cooking, showering. I have to listen to something while I'm showering. And I um I am cleaning. I got a lot of cleaning done by listening to books. So I started Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing has been be has been recommended so much by so many people. So I was interested. It's a fantasy book. But when I tell you it's so well written and it will take you through the motions. I just, I'm almost done. The problem is I'm almost done and I could have finished this book days ago but because it's almost done and the second book does not come out till November 7th I've been kind of like five minutes here ten minutes there and I have only 58 minutes left in this book and I could finish it now but I really don't I'm trying to savor it it's so good guys if you're looking for a book to read or listen to fourth wing is definitely the one I'm towards the end and I'm like my heart and I'm sad and all kinds of stuff but it, the book is so good oh my gosh so if you're looking for a new book to read I definitely recommend that one I like to listen to it the narrator if you have a good narrator for a book that will make or break a book because some women's not women's but any narrator um voice can be very annoying but this one is just y'all it is so good hold on there's a car passing by they're looking at me crazy it is so good, y'all. I I love it so much, y'all. It is so good. So I recommend Fourth Wing. I have a long list of books to read on here. I also like the author, Robin Carr. I think Sherry on here recommended that author. If you did, thank you so much. I love her books. She's the author and the writer for the show on Netflix called uh, Virgin River. 
so all of her books are really well written and very good but i recommend fourth wing oh my god it is amazing i listened to some while i was uh making the brownies and i had to stop it because it's just getting too good and i know i'm going to finish it all and i need to listen to have something to listen to while i shower and stuff but that's what i want to talk to you guys about let me know down in the comments have you read fourth wing and have you watched the golden bachelor i want to know hey guys it is much much later i was going to show you guys step by step with this recipe the mexican lasagna but to be honest with you i'm running behind against the clock destiny's bus came really late and i mean super late like an hour and a half late um almost everyone is home so yeah Tomorrow I'm switching her back to car rider. I try to give the bus like a chance, but she literally arrives late all the time. So we've both had enough. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow, switch her back to car rider. They had a bus that did so well, but then she quit. Like she would literally make it on time, every time. And then she quit and then they replaced her with someone else. She quit within a week. And then um, they don't get paid enough. So I understand, but still, you know? She quit within a week and then they gave her bus route to someone else that already had a bus route. So she's doing like double the bus routes, you know. So I'll just, I'll pick her up from school. So here's what it is. So now I'm running behind on dinner once. I just finished doing the meat mixture. The recipe will be down in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and try it out. I did add more seasoning to the recipe than what it called. I used this one from TJ Maxx. Y'all know how I love to get the rest of the seasonings from there. I added this plus the taco seasoning that I asked for. So I'm going to do the layering first and then put this in the oven. How long does it have to cook in the oven for? Um, it's on 350 for how long? 40 minutes. So yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful thinking. What if you were here? Morning waking, heart still aching. Something about the way you make me feel. I don't want to mess up your night. dinner is done this is what it looks like it's not super pretty but it is delicious i'm about to make david's plate now i'm in a hurry <laughs> normally i show you a lot prettier but i don't have time for that right now um destiny's doing her homework and david's already home john and devin come a little later because um devin has practice at the school david do you want double like two squares instead of one? Yeah. Yes, I figured. All right, you know. All right. What's the next question, Destiny? It's A. So this is what it looks like. I got an avocado right here. What's the next um question? She's doing a, a pitch for her business for homework. So what is it? It's A. A? It's okay, so it's a what? I mean, if you have a dog sitting business, right? And you're in the elevator and you try and pitch this business. What would you say? What's so great about your business? Why should they come to you? Hmm? Okay, well, we took the PSATs. You took the PSATs? How'd it go? Was it hard? No, I 
some questions that were easy and some that were hard. Oh, do you want avocado? I didn't even ask. Yes. Yes, I figured. It was kind of like GMAS. Oh, okay. And it took almost three hours. Three no, hours? Ooh. We had to do the entire thing. Did you? Did they give you guys break? There was one break between reading and math. The reading part had 54 questions and the math part had 44 questions. So which one would you think is harder, the reading or the math? Math. Do you want this part of the avocado? No. Or is that good? That's good. Okay, go ahead. I want a whole avocado. You want a whole avocado? Girl, we got three avocados. I got to split. Because um, they came ripe. Hold on, let me see. So I forgot to show you guys the brownies. It's been like a, a whirlwind. Let me turn you guys around. This is what it looks like. Don't they look so cool? And it's so easy to make. Right now, I have um, just one little square. Most of the time when I bake, I don't eat the stuff that I bake. I mainly make it for them. Sometimes I have like that sweet little craving, so I got myself a little square. Devin's here! Devin's here! All right, y'all. So dinner was absolutely delicious. I loved it. I had it with some sour cream and avocados, too. So I definitely recommend for you guys to try that recipe. Now, in the last one, I completely forgot to tell you guys about the dinner rolls. And I forgot to share it, because sometimes what's been happening is that my afternoons are so chaotic and homework and all this that I forget sometimes so it was delicious now I do feel like it could have been better because I've tasted better now what I mean by that is I've tasted better dinner rolls last year we went to sorry y'all I'm sniffly last year we went to my sister-in-law's house margarita for Thanksgiving her dinner rolls were off the chain we call those booty rolls if you watch those vlogs you'll remember that um, there was that good, but she made those. So what I'm gonna think I'm thinking about doing is what she does is she freezes them in the little balls, and then what she does is when she thaws them out, she put them in muffin pans, two in one. When it um, rises, they look like little booties coming out of the pan. But that's what she does. So I'm going to ask her for her recipe, and hopefully she can help me step by step on how to make it. Because if it turns out good, I could just make it myself. And then just freeze a bunch of them because I, I would like to be able to get, um, what's going on my computer? I would like to be able to do that or get started on a lot of the Thanksgiving items that I can do ahead of time. But everything was delicious. So, um, the link for this recipe will be down in my description box. Let me do the Fetch Leadership Board shout out. Um, if you don't know what Fetch is, Fetch is the app that you get to scan receipts and receive points towards gift cards. My leadership board is full of you guys in there. And I love to give you guys shout outs. Number one is Nina Sky. Number two is Tanya and Chris Hurley. Number three is LXXI. Four is Kamisha Peterson. Five is Maxine Bird Thaxter. Six is Ted Videcki. Uh Seven is Dee Marie. Eight is Cindy and Scott Fitzgerald. 9 is Carmen Brown, 10 is Tia Tati, 11 is Marquita Parker, number 12 is Ryan McGrill, 13 is Michael White, 14 Danielle Jackie, 15 is Kimberly Coleman, 16 is Beth K, 17 is Anilesh Nair, 18 is Gwendolyn Bozeman, number 19 is Erica Hammer, and number 20 is Anne Pierre Bright. So, that's the top 20 spots on the Veggie Leadership Board. Shout out. I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. They are shorter than my summer vlogs, but my summer vlogs, everyone was home. So I was able to film for longer periods of time. But like I go through seasons when my life just changed. And I've been giving myself some grace. And like having rest and being okay with actually resting. Because I am a person that it, I can go, go, go. And I will like finish a vlog, pick it up. Finish a vlog, film, pick it up. Like, literally, there was no stop for me. But now I've been giving myself days off and rest so I could show up for myself. And, like, it's I feel like it's been helping my mental health because I'm not always working. And that has been helping me out a lot. So I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye, y'all.